last 15 years, Bet Fila Israel, an organization aiming to connect secular Jews to Jewish tradition, has been holding weekly Kabbalat Shabbat services with music, prayer, and open space. The service uh, usually takes place at the Tel Aviv port, but is now expanding to Caesarea. And we are very happy now to be joined by Rabbi Esteban Gottfried. Hello, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we're in the summer months. People are outside again. We're finally out of somewhat out of the the corona pandemic tell us uh, about the experience of people being able to uh, take in the smells the sounds and the yeah, prayers it's, once it's again it's a it's a it's a beautiful combination of of a, a, a spiritual gathering of hundreds of people that we, it's between 500 and 800 people every week they're coming secular traditional uh, and also some religious that, that they come with music and with the breeze and with the sunset uh, of, over the Mediterranean. It's like we are bringing people to uh, connect to Shabbat and to connect to, to the to Jewish ancient prayer in the most inspiring place that we can find in Tel Aviv. As far as the, the energy of the people that are coming now after two years of, you know, not being able to go anywhere, is there like a newfound connection even amongst really secular people that are now realizing the, the value of connecting to the prayers. Uh, I think every, every, everybody looks for community, everybody looks for, for connection, and uh, even people, they, they, it's not a community, you know, the, the, the hundreds of people who come to the port, it's not a community that they, they, they see each other every, every week uh, uh, during the year. But when, when we are here and we are doing this thing together, there's a sense of community even if people come for, for the first time. And this is something that it, it, it's like magic, it happens there. And, and this was so, so strongly uh, emotional, this experience, that uh, we've been asked to, to replicate this in other places. And for the last years we've been doing also in, in uh, Erzliya and the marina and also in Haifa in, at, the, at the beach. And this year we are starting, we already started in Caesarea and Caesarea. Mm -hmm in a beautiful, beautiful spot, which is a, uh, it's, it's a, a, a near the, an ancient synagogue from the first century. So we are praying the Shabbat prayers in the same spot where 2,000 years ago, Rabbi Akiva and other guys were doing the same thing. Wow. And it's, it's uh, very powerful. Very magical. And, you know, what is the, um, the, the, I guess, the importance of, we think of synagogue and the diaspora, people being enclosed in a, in a synagogue. Why is it so holy and inspirational to be in nature? I think in, in our time when, when uh, you know, there are so many uh, uh, different reactions to religion and, and to Judaism, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way to show the people that uh, uh, we can meet the Judaism in the way where you are. You don't have to be anything uh, different than that you are. And and uh, and it's for everybody. The main things that we we uh, we started and, and and it's part of the basics of Beit Fila Israeli is this combination of uh, uh, merging of liturgy between ancient text from the regular pr prayer and contemporary text of poetry and and Israeli songs that they are prayerful but they are not included in, in a regular prayer book. And uh, even the more modern. Uh, interpretations of young poets and musicians and and whatnot so it really allows space for not just the traditional songs that we're used to in our prayer books yeah it's, it's like we are looking uh, more for the, the the experience of prayer and the experience of gathering the experience of, of receiving the Shabbat together more than the, the you know the the, the 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 all the details of the Allah of, of the law right and and we we allow ourselves to experiment so we bring songs that they are, they are for example, the, the psalms that we, we sing in Kabbalah Shabbat traditionally are, are praising the, the, the nature, praising the, 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 uh, the creation. And there are songs that are doing it the same in different words, in more, more than words. One, one of them, it's a, there is a beautiful translation of Eli Moar for our wonderful world mm -hmm. that Aww. we sing as a prayer. And, and, nice. and it's a beautiful, when, when, you have, when you are singing our wonderful world in Hebrew, in and you are seeing the, this scenery together. It's it's a it's an experience. I'm, I can only imagine what it's like for people. Also, you incorporate a little bit of Louis Armstrong, the Beatles. How does that work? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, we we play with it. We play yeah. with with it, and, and and people go along. And and it's a it's a beautiful way to 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 see that the you know the 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 contemporary the secular world that we live in. It's not. It doesn't go 
in, doesn't crash with the traditional world of the Judaism, but goes together. So it's like everybody has their own way of connecting. We need to put our own little uh, layer of uh, creativity on it. Wow, beautiful. Well, uh, keep up the good work and wishing you a great summer and looking forward to uh, seeing uh, more more experiences Thank at Kabbalah and Shabbat. We, and we are streaming all our, our, our services so everybody can so Everyone can, can watch it in real time if they're not able yeah, to come. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you very much, Rabbi. Okay. Really a pleasure to Thank see you. Thank you, Emily.